Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Maruku MK70 Sporter 12 gauge shotgun. Now I'll start off with a bit of background guys. This shotgun's uh, been in the family for well over 10 years, about 15 years now. And uh, when I first bought it, I got it from Cleaver Firearms there because I wanted to get a uh, decent sort of shotgun that was um, useful, you know, obviously uh, shooting clays and, you know, in the field. So. Um, this one was bought by me for the old man and um, you know he's had it ever since and I do use it from time to time so uh, if you saw the video I did recently on the beginner's guide to understanding shotguns you know chokes and shot sizes um, I use this shotgun and it's like every time I use it or have a snippet of it someone asks about it or multiple people ask about it so I thought well it's time to do a review so uh, just bear in mind a couple of differences I've seen, you know, with this model to the current models that are sold. Um, only minor cosmetic um, features really, and I'll go into that with this review. So let's start off. Let's uh, go ahead and clear it. So as you can see there, we're all clear. Now it comes with Invector Plus chokes. Now uh, this one came with five chokes. However, these days are advertising three. So um, we had the full range um, when I bought this. So there was um, the uh, cylinder, improved cylinder, modified, improved modified, and full. So we've still got them, and obviously we used a lot of them when we did the beginner basics video. Now I'll give you a run by of it, just so you can see it up close. Now obviously it's a 12 gauge under and over shotgun. Now it has uh, 30 inch barrels, okay? You can get these with 28 or 32 inch barrels, okay? So that's options that are available to you. But uh, we got the 30 inch one here, and obviously it was, I guess, right in the middle of the options, and yeah, I just don't see the need for anything longer. Now on the front of the um, barrel here, obviously you have uh, a bead, okay? Because with these you don't have, obviously, normal sights. So you've got uh, a front bead, and then you've also got the mid bead here, which is fairly easy to actually line uh, the shotgun up when you're shooting it. Now it is a grade one varnish stock. Okay, you've got um, a Schnabel forend here. So in other words, let me just bring that into the camera view there. So it is curved, so you're really not gonna slip off there with your hand. Quite nice, I mean, it's held up all these years. We've even got a uh, engraving of a game scene. I will try to get the right angle on the camera there for you to have a look at it. That's really nice, you know, it's just a really nice touch to it in general. Now it's a three inch chamber. So in other words, you can use, you know, three inch Magnum cartridges if you wish to do so, but obviously it shoots the two and three quarter ones just fine. Now it does have uh, ejectors, okay? So I explained that in the beginner basics video. So um, basically once you shoot uh, the shells, open the chamber and it'll just spit those shells straight out, okay? So you don't actually have to extract them with your fingers. So it really helps for fast, you know, follow-up shots and obviously reloading. Now it is a single trigger on this, which I also like because obviously it's just bang, bang, you know, to be able to shoot it. So, you know, uh, you don't have to feel for a second trigger or anything like that, which is handy if you were using this obviously, uh, you know, for hunting as well. Now there is a selector switch on this where you can select uh, which barrel you want to uh, fire first. You know, which is <laughs> very, very handy. I mean, obviously people into, um, you know, into their shotguns will really appreciate that. 
for me, it doesn't really bother me that much. But as I've said before, look, I'm I'm not uh, a uh, shotgun man by any means. You know, you won't find me out at a range busting clays all the time. You know, that's just not me. So um, with this uh, selector switch, it's pretty straightforward. So all you need to do is pull back, okay, and then obviously it's on safe, so it won't be able to uh, fire in general. But then you can just move it from side to side, okay? So you've got the under barrel, the U for the under barrel to go off first, and then you've got the O for the over barrel to go off first. So um, I've got it just set there with under, and then you just push forward and then works from there. So yeah, really straightforward. So just moving down to the rear of the shotgun now, the uh, length of pull on this is 375 millimeters of 14.76 inches. Now, uh, I've got no kick pad on this one. Um, when uh, it was first bought, it's just hard uh, plastic. But I believe there's a uh, hard rubber pad on them now when you purchase them, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, uh, the look of this shotgun, I mean, if you've been around shotguns for you know quite a few years, you may look at this and think, geez, it just looks like a browning copy. Well, it basically is. You know, Browning uh, 525 virtually looks the same as this shotgun, except this shotgun is obviously about $1,000 uh, cheaper. Now, Maruku is um, made in Japan, and they're actually that good at copying the Browning shotguns that I believe the story is that uh, Browning actually um, licensed them to do it because they did such a good job. So, yeah, Maruka is certainly a good brand of shotgun. I really don't find anyone. I've, I've never heard of anyone complaining about them, uh, especially for the price. So uh, price, I paid $1,500 all those years ago. Now they're a little bit over that, about $1,595, $1,600 around there. So, um, you know, obviously shop around. Different shops have uh, different prices. All right, guys, so um, yeah, let's get out on the farm now. What I want to show you is obviously um, just a couple of the shotgun patterns. So we'll show you some of that with how this um, shotgun works and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun. So to start with guys, let me show you how this shotgun patterns. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put a few different chokes in it and a few different shot sizes so you can see how it shoots at different distances. Okay, so I've got some of these Federal uh, True Ball uh, solids. So, look, fantastic for hunting. I just want to show you the energy of these things downrange. So we've got a uh, 15 litre bucket of water and we'll capture some really decent slow-mo, hopefully. <laughs> yep, 
yeah, just unreal, you know, for hunting. But it just shows that, you know, this shotgun is good for both purposes, and that's why I like it so much. Okay, so we've got the uh, Ely Olympic Blues. Now, these are eight, 28 grams, so they're a target load. So let's just have some fun. And the greatest thing about a um, you know double barrel or under and over shotgun having that single trigger is you can get those shots off extremely fast, which is perfect for both you know hunting and obviously in target as well. It's just that quick. It's a really good system. All right, guys. I don't know what else I can show you to demonstrate you know the reliability of this shotgun. Honestly, I've had it for well over 10 years, as I said, and it's never missed a beat. It's been very high quality and um, for the price, you, you just can't fault them. So, you know, if you don't want to spend the money, like, you know, you don't want to go up to like two and a half, three, four grand, you know, for a decent under and over, honestly, have a look at the uh, Maruka. I'm sure you'll be uh, pretty happy with it at the end of the day. All right, guys, we'll leave the review of that. So hope you enjoyed it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.